you know, every now and then, AMD comes out with a really good product, like something that's really good. And then they almost always do something stupid along with that. Just saying. Of course, today we're talking about Ryzen processors and their reported temperatures. Now, Ryzen is a great product, at least on the high end. It gives content creators a way of getting lots of cores with lots of threads for not a lot of money compared to the Intel counterparts. But one of the big concerns that have arisen from early reviews of Ryzen, aside from potential um, SMT uh, scheduling issues with Windows, which by the way, turns out that's not a problem at all, ended up being the temperatures of Ryzen. In fact, if you look at some reviews and go back and check those, anyone that overclocked the 1700X and 1800X, or even didn't overclock them at all, were reporting huge temperatures compared to Intel-like counterparts. For example, right now I'm running my CPU at 1.4 volts and it is idling at 61 degrees Celsius according to the Ryzen Master Utility. Now, a couple points to make. First off, the Ryzen Master Utility is actually fairly taxing on one thread, so it's not like it's completely idle just having that open and sitting there. But the other thing is the temperature offset. Wait, wait what? What? Yeah, so in a blog post, AMD recently announced or revealed rather, which is weird that I have to say because you would have thought they would have told reviewers this before letting reviewers go out and, and talk about how hot Ryzen gets. AMD wrote that there is an offset on the temperature reported by the temperature control sensor of Ryzen chips, specifically the 1700X and 1800X. The 1700, however, is not affected by this. So here's how it works. The temperature control sensor, which reports the Ryzen processor temperature, or at least the primary Ryzen temperature, is known as the T-Control. And it reports a temperature at the junction temperature, or TJ. So the junction temperature is the point between the actual die of the processor and the heat spreader directly above it. Now, normally you would expect this to be reported as degrees Celsius, and it would be reported as whatever temperature it happens to be at. And if you're on the Ryzen 1700, by the way, that's exactly how it works. But for some reason, and by the way, there actually is a reason for this that I'll get to here in a second, AMD decided to add this temperature offset of 20 degrees Celsius to the 1700X and the 1800X. What that means to, for the end user is when you see in the Ryzen Master Utility that your 1700X or 1800X is running at 60 degrees Celsius, it's actually only running at 40 degrees Celsius. So for all of you people out there that have those chips and have overclocked them or even left them at stock and are freaking out a little bit about how hot they run, you should probably just chill out a little bit. <laughs> he, he made a... He made a pun. In hearing this news, I am actually much more comfortable with my overclock, which sees my chip get into the low 80s sometimes. But in reality, it's only actually getting into the low 60s now, and that's good to know. Now, AMD says the whole purpose of this is so that the processors have a consistent fan policy or fan curve going on with the operating system telling it when to ramp up fans and that sort of thing. Now, what that means to me is that they're trying to keep the processors cooler than they otherwise might be if it reported accurate temperatures, probably because XFR is actually pushing the limits of what a Ryzen chip at stock voltage can push any given core. For example, an 1800X, supposedly if you have the right cooling, will push to about 4.1 gigahertz in single-threaded performance on a single thread to give you that little added oomph for your uh, processing tasks. Unfortunately, the marketing department at AMD didn't actually sort of relay this to reviewers. So what reviewers ended up saying was that their processors were running super hot and they really weren't running super hot. It was just they were reporting that they were running super hot. So AMD may have a valid reason to sort of want to keep those fan curves ramped up a little bit to keep the Ryzen chips cooler than they otherwise might be with the accurate temperature reporting, but it's confusing why they didn't at least give reviewers the heads up that that was what was going on, especially because it's kind of damaging to hear that Ryzen chips are running so hot out of the box. In addition, and equally confusing, is why AMD's Ryzen master utility doesn't report the actual correct temperature. You would imagine that a utility like that would, would say something to the effect of, hmm, you know, it, it says 80 degrees, but we could always just add a utility offset to subtract that back off so the, you know, end user knows what temperature their processor is at. 
at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal for me because I still wasn't that concerned about my temperatures. Yes, they looked high on paper, but they were never really getting to the real dangerous point on a consistent basis, even while gaming. Now knowing that my processor is actually running 20 degrees C cooler than it was reporting, it makes me very comfortable with the Ryzen lineup, especially the 1700X and the 1800X. I really just wish that AMD had sort of, you know, cued everyone in on that whole offset thing beforehand. And as always guys, if you like this content, give me a like down below, share, subscribe, all those things, super helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware for both of those. How convenient of me, right? And I'll go ahead and let YouTube queue up a couple videos for you to watch that are from my channel. And I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware. I'll see you guys in the next video.